good morning welcome back to the channel um just doing a little video today on the mixes but for those of you that haven't actually seen our setup there it is it's uh the young bird loft is in the background with the birds and the aviary the spare hens um that we have in that aviary over there and there's the uh there's the race loft, 16 by six, and the young bird loft is 16 by eight. So uh, I thought I'd do a little video on mixes today, but that is the roundabout loft. So the, the hens are in the smaller section and the cocks are in the bigger section, 10 by six. So, uh, Thought I'd do a little mix today, a uh, little video today on the mixes. So in here we've got the bins that uh, we keep the, the pigeons' food in. They do have aluminium seals around here to keep them airtight, but I took them off just for uh, video purposes. So in here we've got the mix that the, the birds are on at the moment. It's just like an in-between mix, so in-between sitting. Um, basically, when the birds are first paired up until the birds' eggs start to chip out. So this is an all-rounder by Versalaga, mixed in with barley, reclaimed barley. And um, we've also put in some columbine pellets for them as well, just for a bit extra nourishment. They don't need it but it's just a bit of an extra for the pigeons. It's a good clean mix. Um, we usually use Versalaga and Van Robies. Um, we haven't mixed up the breeding mix yet because there's no need um, because the, the eggs aren't chipping out for another 18, 18 days or so. But with the breeding mix, it'll just be 50% breeding mix, so we'll probably use Versalaga Start. Um, it's a good breeding mix. 50% um, of that, 50% of all rounder, which you can see is in there, is obviously the the um, the maize, the peas, and there's a few tears in there. Um, wheat, but that's the um, in between mix. I don't really know what to call it. It's just a a sitting mix if you like but that's what you use for the, for the breeders and the and the spare hens obviously um, there's no point in giving them a cheaper mix or anything like that there's no point in buying a separate mix for them so they get this as well but it's a pretty good mix it's decent so that's the mix that they'll get while sitting and obviously breeding will be 50% um, breeder mix 25% all rounder and 25% fat mix which I'll show you now so this is a fat mix we use this for racing as well it's a brilliant mix um, Versalaga make this one it's um, energy plus um, we also use the Van Roby's one which is um, uh, top energy it's got a bit more maize in it We'll say there is maize in it. There's no maize in this. Um, this is more expensive, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a, it's a really good mix. So we'll use that 25% fat mix in the breeding mix for the youngsters. Um, protein is the main content in a breeding mix. Um, but uh, you want fat just to put on a bit of weight. They'll, they'll breed, they'll raise good youngsters on anything. But this is what we use. It's, it's not, you know, you have to do this. It's uh, just what we do. So that's a good quality mix. Um, so that's the mixture that we will do. And we will use when, when it's uh, breeding time. I'll show you the mix when it's all mixed up. But that's just a sitting mix. It's, it is a decent mix, that is. Um, they'll be on that for a few more weeks yet. So, in here we have 
where you can't really see them. Um, the checker pod cock that didn't want to pair. If you put your ear to the camera or whatever you're filming from, listening from, sorry, watching from, um, he's paired up. So I'll show you. So he's in there with his hen. I'll step inside. So this is just, a, this is the old um, Woodward hens section. So we used to keep the Woodward hens in here. They used to have fronts on there, but they're paired up now, which is really good. They've already treaded. Um, what we did was we, um, we took him out of the breeding loft and we, uh, separated him and put him in here on his own for a week no other pigeons just him he was calling he was driving um but we thought you know we'll let him you know stew for a week and it worked so we introduced that hen yesterday and uh they've paired up so she's she's the uh, direct daughter of cola and he's the double grandson of Sister Rosita. He's got Prince Kittle on him as well, which is the son of Kittle. Um, that's one of his grandparents. And a Super Prince, which is the um, nest brother to Sp Spider-Man, uh, Darame Spider-Man. So it's excellent breeding in that cock. So we'll see, we'll see how they uh, they breed. But all in all, really pleased with the fact that they've actually, he's actually paired up and he's, he's shown interest in his hen. Um, so yeah, this is just a little small um, section for them. There is a nest bowl in there for them. And there they are. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, I will do another update again. Um, I will do another update when we get the breeding mix in and we start obviously seeing youngsters. Um, I'll show you how we mix the breeding mix. Obviously, um, I do all the videos myself. <clears throat> so, um, I'll get my dad to help me. I'll get my dad to help me with the, uh, the filming, I should imagine. So, uh, it'll be easier for me. So, there we go, guys. Hopefully these guys throw some uh, some good birds. So I hope you're having a good breeding season and um, you're looking forward to uh, to racing. Uh, so enjoy your pigeons, guys, and we'll see you soon. Take care.